Today we're going to be reading paranormal campus activity stories. And I personally have never had a paranormal experience and I hope I never have one. I think I saw a ghost when I was younger on Halloween. What my brother's girlfriend and I were at my house for Thanksgiving and we just saw one of our cups move across the table. And my dad was like, didn't believe us, so he went and like measured the table because he was like, you're tricking us. And it was completely flat. I'm not saying it's paranormal, but it was something. <laughs> the first story is the room in Trinity Hall. I go to Texas Lutheran and supposedly a girl died in one of the rooms in Trinity Hall. Ever since then, her room has been closed off and no one is allowed in except resident life staff. One day I heard a ton of banging above my room and called my RA. We went upstairs and maintenance opened the door. We saw a very human-like scratch and blood-looking stains all over the walls. The ceiling was completely black and there was about an inch of water on the floor and dripping down the walls. Totally unexplainable. That one's like, was it? I don't believe that one. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I have a lot of questions right now. The next one was the little girl in the mirror. Ooh, I don't like this already. <laughs> I went to the second oldest seminary in the country, which used to be a Civil War hospital. One night, I had a dream of a little girl laughing at me in the bathroom, looking out at me from the mirror. When I woke up, I was no longer in bed, but standing in the bathroom in front of a mirror. Wow. <laughs> Sounds very like paranormal activity, like Annabelle-esque. Yeah. Great movies. The Dark Crawling Figure. I lived in Wells Hall at the University of Wisconsin, which is considered the most haunted dorm on campus. It was around 3 a.m. when I looked over at my roommate and saw a dark figure crawl out from under her bed and then crawl back under. I was nearly in tears and couldn't breathe because I was so terrified. Yeah, this one would make me cry for sure. Oh my God, first of all, I would ask for a transfer immediately. <laughs> The children with black eyes. I was awoken in the middle of the night by the sound of kids playing and talking. It was dark, but I saw two kids sitting on my roommate's bed. They turned to look at me, and their eyes were all black. I don't know what happened after that. I think I fainted because my roommate found me lying on the floor in the morning. I rented an apartment nearby after that incident. <laughs> yeah, I would totally get out too. I would have also fainted. I feel like sounds of kids playing is totally so freaky. Like. It's like one of those things that you would think is so pleasant, but... The unexplained scratches. I live in one of the older dorms on campus and my roommates and I have always heard rustling sounds. We searched the room to see if we could find some kind of animal or source of the noise. But we didn't find anything. Later on that night, I was writing a paper and out of nowhere, two scratches appeared on my arm. Whoa. The scratches burned for about five minutes and then stopped. I still live in the dorm and I found new unexplainable scratches on my body almost every day since then. If I was this girl, I would just move out of the dorm. Simple, <laughs> that's a simple solution. Don't know why she's still in there. Kind of dumb. <laughs> the upside down pictures. My roommate and I were convinced that our room was haunted. Things would always fall off our walls in the middle of the night and for no reason at all. Sometimes we'd come back after classes and some of our pictures on the wall would be upside down. We couldn't come to a reasonable explanation for any of it. Yeah, that's really, that's, that's no. The first time their pictures fell off the wall, maybe they just did a bad job putting it on the wall. I'm glad she has a roommate because at least they can go through it together. Long story short, don't live in an old dorm. <laughs> I think I believe them because they have no explanation. If there was a big reason behind it, it'd be kind of modified, <laughs> fabricated. If I encountered one of these experiences... Oh, I would run away. I would get out. Like, the girl that changed apartments, good for her, because I, I, that's me. <laughs> I would, like, move so far away, I would, yeah. I don't know, I probably would reconsider Okay, maybe I'm not a skeptic, but also I'd be like, eh, if I die, I die. You know, life goes on, or not, I guess, if you die, so that's what I would do. 